Hi. <laughs> Did your internet just crap out again? I don't know. Did it? You froze on my screen. Oh, crap. Well, it looks like the stream's still going. Yeah, it hiccuped, though. It's like, the screen came up, and then it hiccuped, and my mm. hand went to my face without me moving. Aries says we're back. Yeah, there's, there's going to be little hiccups across the entire cast, folks, because this internet connection still hasn't been fixed. Yeah, yeah, it's not his fault. It's Virgin. They know there's a problem, and they're working on fixing it, but... Hi, people! How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Andy says a bit of buffering. That'll sort itself out. Right, hold on. No, it right? won't. We'll just have to deal with hiccups all the way throughout the show. Yeah, but it'll sort itself out in the recording at least. Maybe. No, Maybe no, not. No, no, well. Not necessarily. Well, it should. The last one didn't. Yeah, true. Hey, everybody. <laughs> How are you? We have a busy show today. I mean, first we're going to talk about food, of course. But... <laughs> Oh, hi, Stu. Uh, he, changed, he just changed from Sky to BT, so he's hoping his connection holds out. Do you have other options besides Virgin? Nope. Just Virgin. Hmm. Hi, Tommy! Oh, hi, Pammy! How you doing? Hi, Niji! Hello, Battlefield Matt, PTV, Bugsy. Niji, how you doing? Hi, PT! I am starving. I haven't had a chance to eat because I've had such a busy morning. So y'all are going to have to deal with me munching on beef jerky. I'll try to Einar, keep it quiet it's, though. It's a fiber line I've got, Einar. Storm says for cable you guys only have virgin. Hmm. Andy, I wouldn't use BT. BT's internet is ten times worse than Virgin and it's a quarter of the speed. Nah. Nah. Hmm. Well, that's what Stu now has, so... Uh-oh. What? Default, no options other than Virgin. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Getting salty already. Carlos, you say that isn't for not already used to you munching on stuff. That's true. That's a good point. True. I usually try not to talk with my mouth full, though, but since it's a jerk... I'm back. I'm back. You froze again. Nothing I can do about it. You're back up for me. I see you now. It's like little one second drops. It, it drops for a second and then everything just comes back up again. <sighs> and we're back. We should be sort anyway. Of. It's frozen on my screen right now. It's still frozen for me. Jiminy Christmas. Ah, oh, Andy's seen my back. I'm still buffering. Control 5, okay. Okay, we're back on my screen now. I had to refresh. Mm. This is going to get annoying. This is definitely going to get annoying. Hmm. We'll see if we'll see if it, it calms down and doesn't cut out mm -hmm. as much. 
Because doing like a coiling and, and all the first looks that you have to get through yeah. with everything hiccuping would be sort of frustrating. Vic, before uh, we get involved, like... show schedules pending time changes. Um, the, yeah. schedules are, the schedules are going to remain the same, 7 o'clock EST, 7 o'clock UK. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So, when our time changes this weekend, the show will be on an hour... Uh, this always confuses me. I fucking hate the time change. <laughs> so we're springing forward, so it's going to be... It'll still be on at 7 o'clock, but you guys don't change yet. No. Right? So when I think it's 6 o'clock, it's actually going to be 7 o'clock mm. for me. So it's going to be on an hour earlier for you, is that right? Spring forward. No, it's going to be on an hour later. But when I think it's 6 o'clock... Okay, so let's say it's, it's noon my time. It's 8 p.m. your time. When we spring yeah. forward, it will then be 1 o'clock my time, and it will still be 8 p.m. your time. So the, it's going to shrink. The time difference between us is going to shrink. Right? Is that right? I, I don't know. Stoke and Gwen, you need to be on an hour later. Yeah, that is right, yeah. Okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so your clocks go I back. I just did. Your, your clocks go back this weekend. Well, forwards this weekend. Yeah. Because, you know, who needs an extra hour of sleep? Not me. <laughs> I, I don't. Why would I need fucking sleep? <laughs> okay. Good. Because it made sense in my head, but I hate the time change. I wish we didn't do it doesn't make any sense to me. So what yes, this Sunday's show will be at 7 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. UK. And the stupid part is, it's like, it's not all the countries that, that put the clocks forward and back on the same weekend. What the fuck's that all about? Right, exactly. It's like if everybody changed at the same time, it would be That'd easier be to excellent. keep track of. Yeah. But they don't. Gwen, you'll get an hour back in the fall. Well, that's true. I know, but I don't want. I don't want the change. The time change. I have kids. I have little kids mm. who are, you know, adjusted to their schedule. So when it's a an hour bump one direction or the other, everything goes to pot. Mm. True. Yeah. Yeah, if people are getting buffering, uh, either try a refresh or drop down the resolution of the cast. That might help. It looks okay to me, for now. Knock on wood. Hi, Benny! The minority would be forced to comply, Gwen. Well, that happens sometimes, but the minority would be forced to comply on what? Like, not changing the time? Everyone changed at the same time until George W. changed our dates, Gwen. Well, why did he do that? Because he's George W. Yes. That's not a good answer. I need a reason. Yes, Alchemy, I do use the Skyhook RD to you. Oh, Hi, that's Lemley. true, Sloan. Sloan says it's, night, it's nice working night shift when the clocks go forward. Less so when they go back. Because mm. it's at 2 a.m., so it's like you get to 2 a.m., and then all of a sudden it's 3 a.m. Yeah. And it's like, wow, I get paid for an hour, and I'm. It just went fast forward in time. Hi, Lemley. The time change allows the Illuminati to change into their party robes. <laughs> Aussie, ah, because she was about as smart as a box of rocks. <laughs> How you doing, Manx? Hi, Manx. Okay, I can't eat almonds well, while I talk because otherwise I'm going to be crunching in everybody's ears, and that's rude. True. But I know that's the thing. The days are not actually longer. If you cut an hour off of one end of the day and put it on the other end of the day, it doesn't elongate anything. It just changes when you think it's happening. Mm. Nothing is actually changing. It's like if you have a quilt 
and you cut a piece off of one end of the quilt and you sew it to the other end, you don't have a longer quilt. It's the exact same thing. Eric, oh my god. Okay, Aries. Hi, Vape City. I haven't seen you for a while. Hi, Bus Stop Rat Bag. <laughs> I love that name. I don't know why. <laughs> it just appeals to my, I don't know, my sense of whimsy or something. <laughs> Bus Stop Rat Bag. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to mention food. Have you tried the McVitie's Caramel Chocolate Digestives? They're bloody amazing. No, I have not tried those. Oh, Ooh. the Caramel Chocolate Digestives. They're actually quite nice. Yes, they are. That sounds good. I like caramel and chocolate together. <laughs> Eric, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Please don't hurt me. I'm not going <laughs> to hurt you. More useful daylight then. But it, you just wake up when you want to wake up. Like, wake up with the sun and go to bed with the sun is sort of how farmers do it. That's why you have yeah. a rooster because it wakes you up. Wait, hi Plop! How you doing, Plop? Hi Cassie! Time hi, is Cassie. relative. A watched pot never boils, but Gwen's temper will certainly boil over if you piss her off. Hi you mind wipe. I do not have a hot temper. Hi mind, and yeah Johnny I'm going to be talking about it during the, the what's up this Sunday. He froze again. No, I can do it. Okay. Hi, Costas. Uh, just seen they're releasing at the. Gosh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I need to try that again. I have just seen they are releasing a thin version of the chocolate digestive from Vape City Reviews. Oh. I don't know how that would work. Digestives are supposed to be sort of. Crumbly. I think. Hi, King Cobra. Okay, Kevin dropped resolution down to 240p. That works. Okay, so <coughs> it is 11:15. How many first looks do you have? You said you had a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hi, seven. AI projects. Seven. Okay, that is quite a few and you have to coil today what are you going to coil beats me is even worth coiling with a connection like this though oh that's true we'll I know goes during yes. the first looks I know just asked me if I was stubborn <laughs> hi Dundee Pin Dundee how you doing hey Richie it's got a thin version what's the point in that <laughs> I have had Oreo Thins, too, and I like them. They're just, they're like Oreos, but it's crispy. Not crispy, but crunchy. Mm. Hey, Jason. I know, I think you're married to the type. I think Einar's wife and I have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah. Never seen the point of thin biscuits and thin cookies, though. You're, you're you're paying the same for less if you think about it. Hi, Paul. Oh, you're paying the same for a different experience. Yeah, true. Hi, Paul. See, I know I knew it. Gwen, Oreo came out with a new candy bar, did they? Didn't even know Oreo made candy bars. How you doing, Gail? <laughs> Andy got vape mail. And Gail, thin digestives, rubbish, with last no time being dunked in baby tea. <laughs> <laughs> right. I am vaping on my jewel, as usual, Jason. Yep. This is pretty much the only thing I vape. This and my T18. Hey, Osman. How you doing, Osman? Thinner makes it sound worse. You eat two instead of one. Oh, that's a good point, Plop. Although... Y'all know me. I eat all the food. In fact, I'm going to have some more beef jerky. This is really good, by the way. It is Korean barbecue beef jerky. Oh, that sounds nice. It is. It's delicious. And it was really expensive, but I would buy it again. <laughs> Evening, Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe. Yay, Cassie likes fluffermint. Andy wants to know what color your tea is. The usual colour. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
Ball says, and by the way, hi, Renty Scottish Numericon. <laughs> hi, Balls. <laughs> the Duke. Um, no, Kevin, I've tried mods. I have all the mods. I've mm -hmm. had Egrip, I have had MVP, I have had iStick, I have had I have had lots of mods. I choose to vape this because I like it. Hi, Crazy Mountain Man. How you doing, Crazy? Oh, headphones. I don't remember. Um, Afterglow, something. Yeah, and I'm using um, Creative Creative Fatality headset with the microphone removed because I've got this. <laughs> Ghost is Gwen. Stop eating. I'm still at work and starving. I'm sorry. Maybe you should buy yourself some um, beef jerky. And yes, I do have Jaffa Cakes. This is all I have left. This is it. This is the last of the Jaffa Cakes. So I'm rationing them. Yeah, Mel. Yeah, that cherry fudge ripple in this month's vape mail. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Not nice. You made funny faces when you vaped that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't nice. Yeah. You were like, oh, no. It wasn't as funny as your no face on that one. True. Yeah. But it's still pretty funny. Evening, Emma. And how you doing, Mr. Techie Guy? The Duke. Um, yeah, they're Afterglow something. Afterglow is the brand. But I don't... I'm not sure what... I have the box sitting right here. But it doesn't... I also have files sitting on top of it because of all my mom's estate stuff. Yeah. So, uh, let me pull it out. See? Files. Yeah. Vape City, I can't keep going back to Facebook because I need to keep an eye on chat in here. Yeah, us going back and forth to different messaging things, it gets really difficult because then we end up missing even more. Prismatic. PDP Afterglow Prismatic Wireless Headset. That's what it is. Oh. Can't see your face because chat's all crazy. Try a refresh, Vape City. It sounds like you haven't fully loaded the page. That might be what's doing it. Especially if you're on a phone because phones have got a tendency to squish the screen in a little bit too much. C.S. Karsten, I do eat big burgers. I like burgers. But not on cast. I'm not going to eat a meal on cast. Um, <laughs> 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 I'd probably like ram it into my microphone. <laughs> How you doing, uh, Oliver? Scott? Maybe she could. Uh, he wants to know if Janet Higgies could make a cherry fudge with a better cherry flavor. She Maybe she could, but she probably couldn't sell it because of the... They had to register all of their UPCs. Hi, Mafia crew. And so they can't make new stuff. Yeah, Vape City, your screen is completely screwed up. Wow. What's going on? Um, Hold on, I'll show you. I think he must be on, he must be on <laughs> mobile, but this is what Vape City's looking at right now. YouTube chat is actually oh. on top of the cast. It, he can't see you. Can't see me at all. Oh, well, that's, probably, <laughs> that's probably a good thing, to be honest. No, no it's not. <laughs> um, the Eric, Gwen can be one of those women who get paid to stream themselves eating all goddamn day. <laughs> That would be amazing! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Pompey? How do I do that? How do I get paid to eat all goddamn day? In front of yeah, a camera? Yeah, John. Yeah, John, it was bad. I had a word with Mike from Vape Mail. It turned out that there was a problem with the... Um... How you doing, Tater? It turned out there was a problem with the company that sent the flavour. <laughs> they, sent, they sent the concentrate that was too strong. But it was under a different label or something like that. It was some kind of thing to do with labeling or something like that. Hey, Tater. Um, they're saying rotate the phone to see Vic. Like, instead of having it this way, do it that way. Or maybe go oh, down maybe. from full screen, I'm guessing. 
Joe Jason? is a fetish, and you should be plumper. Okay, well, you that's not going to happen. <laughs> Jason, there's usually reviews up every day, apart from a Tuesday sometimes, but there's usually reviews up every day. Did you do a review today? You don't do reviews on Thursdays. Yeah, I did. I oh, you the, did? Um, I did the uh, Geek Vape Peerless. That went up today. Oh, okay. Kaleas, don't rotate it. You see Gwen, that's all you need. <laughs> John, my bottle had like a layer of brown stuff at the top of the bottle. What? Your bottle of what? Vape City, got it sorted, close live chat, then rotate, you guys rock, Vic, you're gorgeous again. Hi. <laughs> uh, Osman, I was using 3 milligram and now I'm using 6 milligram for about a week, getting heartburn. Is that normal with Higher Nick? Yes. Mm. Uh, Higher Nick has been known to give me heartburn. Um, it's not... You're not al necessarily always going to have heartburn if you vape higher nick, but it is possible that the higher nick is giving you heartburn. No, you have washed your face, Gwen. It's bright. It, am I? Well, my lights are all like weird. Like that light's not on. I've got this one on. This one's my. This one drives me crazy. Like I wish there was a way to put it over there well, so it would bounce bright, this yeah. direction. You think? Yeah, my big foreheads. Reflecting more light. It than is your a little bit is. shiny. Um, hello, all. Thoughts? I'm like, do I go no. in the dungeon? Do you want to go in the dungeon, Ben? <laughs> You're welcome to go into the dungeon if you so choose. I have Jaffa cakes to feed to people in my dungeon. <laughs> Plop, go and throw a brick at the light. Solves it. No, because I paid for it. I just, I don't like its positioning, but that's really the only place I can put it because I'm in a corner back here. Vic, we're just going to have to start powdering you down again. <laughs> Niji, the light is fine. I'm just happy the stream is working. Me too. We haven't had a hiccup in a while. Cross fingers. Don't, don't, going don't tempt fate. Oh, shush. Don't be superstitious. Hey, Spray Sore. Hey, it's spray. not a menu board, Robbie. I'm moving that freaking thing. You know what? I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> Ta-da! Now you're going to get people asking where's the board went. Where's the board? Where's your menu board? I moved it. I need a... Now I, now I look like I'm in a studio or something. <laughs> I need something behind me. Get a light with a dimmer. I did, Paul. It's a three-click light. Um, and the, the lower one, this is the middle one. The lower one is too dim, and the upper one is too bright. So this is the middle one. It's really the best I've got. How you doing, Ian? Hi, Ian. Now we can't see today's specials. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, oh my god, where's the board? <laughs> I'm ignoring everyone who's asking about the chalkboard. <sighs> now, paint the room. Apparently Graham wants a right there. There you go, Graham. Somebody wants you to flip them off? Yep. Einar, Gwen, where's the bloody poem? I moved it. Hi, Barry. <clears throat> I do have a picture of Vic, Ian. Oh, right, that picture. Yeah. That's on the turf. It, uh, well, and somebody said, um, you gotta admit that it does look like, it totally does. I see exactly what y'all are seeing on the cast. You only see the very bottom part, and it's like, it looks like chalk paint on a chalkboard. So, yes, I understand. Mm. Gwen, could be worse. Vic, where's the old big red door? I missed that bloody thing. Oh, that was years ago. Ben, the poem is by Audrey Hepburn. And it's called Beauty Tips. If you Google Beauty Tips by Audrey Hepburn, you'll get the whole thing. 
Kevin, yeah, you're talking about v VIP SIGs fallen into administration over here in the UK. They will, they will probably keep trading. Uh, but if they can't get, if they can't get anyone, if they can't get anyone to buy the company, they'll end up going into full administration. Eventually. As when I went to make tea, now there's something different about you, Gwen. I moved the <laughs> painting. It was behind me. I moved it. Because everyone was saying it looked like a menu board, and it's not. So I need to find something else to put behind me. Dundee Pin, it will not be a picture of my leg. I'm not putting a big picture of my leg on my no. wall. No. However, I am considering a print of something oh. else. Hold on. There's the Do you phone. need to answer that? Yep. Okay. And I will make this as fast as possible. I am thinking of blowing up a picture that I got done and putting it on the wall. But I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. Copy image address. Okay, here I am back in chat. This is actually, I need a hard refresh. Hang on, real quick. There we go. I did, Jonathan. I moved the painting that was behind me. And what I'm going to replace it with something it else. Um, I might replace it with this. If you sit in Vic's chair now, I'll freak, Gwen. No, Vape City, I am not in Scotland right now. I am at my house. I'm sitting Actually, at my desk. That's a, that's a good picture to replace it with. Yeah, I'd go with that. But I'm not sure how it would look behind me. It'll look like a It'd bigger version weird. of that behind you. That was super helpful. Thank you so much <laughs> for your complete and utter help. Who is she? That's me, Dundee Pin. That is me. That is a picture of me. No, it's not Vic. It's me. Babe City Reviews Chief. Me. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mitch. <sighs> I can see you. No, you froze for a minute that time. Did I? Poof. Yeah, it was me this time. Some people are saying poof. Okay. Hold on. Have a look at the cast. See how bad it went. Um. Well, we're back. No, no, the cast is back. It just jumped. Hmm. Can you put up a picture of you holding the menu? No, Dave. No. I'm surprisingly surprised, Gwen. That is one hell of a perfect picture. I got a whole boudoir shoot done, FF Stoken, and they all turned out really, really good. Mm. Like, amazingly. Amazingly well. Low light? That's one I haven't seen. The Nicomore N1. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, the see, Esserwin just nailed my hesitation about using that picture to put behind me because it is so dark. You kind of need to see it like on your screen or in real life. I'm afraid that the camera, it would just look black. True. Yeah, that, I never thought of that. Yeah, it would. It might end up just looking black. Yep. Hmm. How you doing, Panza? Kevin, if no you put that picture up, then no one will be paying attention to Vic. Unless they can't see it. Um, I am definitely going to get a print of that picture, like a metal print or a canvas or something. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to put it behind me here or if I'm going to like put it in our bedroom or I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Hmm. Two second hiccups for me. I know, it keeps poofing for me too. Um, we're trying to sort of bob and weave around it. But it would not be mistaken for menu board. That's true, Daedalus. Hi, Karika. How you doing? Hi, Karika. Shields, I haven't, had the tr I haven't had a chance to... Well, I've, I've been trying the, the OBS V tank out, but I haven't been... Because I, I got 10 items in this week, so I haven't had a 
chance to concentrate in one particular tank. Okay, who was it that said no one would be looking at Vic if I put that picture up? I'm going to show you a picture that no one would be looking at Vic if I put this picture up. Who? What one's this? Click it. Alright, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people would be asking you to move out the way of that picture so they could stare at it even more. Yeah, right? They'd be like, no, get the <laughs> fuck out of the way. No, you move. <laughs> so we can look at that. <laughs> How you doing, P-Ben? <laughs> Eric? <laughs> but yeah, that's a pretty fair argument, Quinn. <laughs> oh, it was Kevin. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gwen. <laughs> Gwen, he already asked if I could have that one made into a blanket, if that's the one I think it is. The one on the chair? Gwen is in the way of a perfectly good photo of a chair. What food have I missed? Hi, DJ. Um, I have almonds and Korean barbecue beef jerky today. Gwen, you broke the internet. No, I did not. I have a picture of my tattoo. I'll go and get that one right now. Oh. Today is show off the boudoir pictures day. Yep. This is another one that I could possibly blow up and put on the wall. I know I don't know because I don't work for Virgin Media. Don't have a clue, but apparently they're working on it. Robbie on the diet then, Gwen? No, I need more iron. I am anemic. <laughs> so my uh, doctor wants me to increase my iron intake in my diet and quite possibly take iron supplements. And I don't really want to do that. <laughs> so yeah. I'm trying to increase the amount of iron in my diet. Um, poof. Are we okay? I, yeah, I see us. Yeah, we should be fine. Alright. Go ahead, vaping with Vic poster, I would buy it. Good to know. And we'll put it on the list. Somebody wants to know about Scott stock coil tanks. Uh... Stop LG wants to tanks. know where uh, they can buy a Minikin 2 in black in the UK. In black in the UK? Vape Club or Evolution? John Boldsight, Evolution Vapor. Vape Club or try Vape Club first. And if they don't have it, try Evolution because they've probably got it. Tetley, I don't know what that means. He says, who took those photos, Gwen? Did you have to get your minge out? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. oh, my fr my, a friend of mine took them. She's a professional photographer. Yeah, yeah I went at eBay. I, uh, uh, eBay. Well, I suppose you could get it off of eBay. Hi, sinner. Gwen, drink Iron Brew. Gwen, Guinness. I'm not even seeing sinner pop up in chat. He's right there. He says, Gwen, cue ball. With little hands. No. Son, I'll type something. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, no, I did not. I was wearing underwear. Hi, pilot. <sighs> no, I was not totally naked. I wore underwear the entire time. Oh, there's Sana. Yeah. Thank like you, summer. Midget. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. Um, so, you guys want to know what happens when you are really, really good friends with the person doing your boudoir shoot? <laughs> I will show you another picture. Stock coils to go in the original Cool Fire 4. 40 watts. Stock coil at 40 watts that's got good. It need to be an Anakin I sub tank. Yeah, it would need to be in a can I sub. 
You like that pic, Stu, is it new? The one with me on the chair? Or the the tattoo picture? <laughs> yeah, it's that picture. Yep. <clears throat> Hi, um, George! Thanks, Glenn. That's my new wallpaper now. You're welcome, Sinner. Hey, George. Well, the, the thing is, P. Ben, could you run a Cleto at 40 watts, though? That's a bit low for a Cleto. Uh, Niji, mm. that is one lesson that I was never taught. She said women are taught to be afraid of red meat. I love red meat. I used to literally eat raw hamburger off of the cutting board when my mom was cooking when I was a kid uh, because we knew the cow. I grew up on a farm. So I love red meat. I've always eaten red meat. Now I'm never going to stop. Mm. Oh, there you go. 0.4 Cleto coils rated at 40 to 60 watts. Yeah, you could try a Cleto out. Uh, Stu, no, it's not new. It's not a new picture. It, it was done at the same time as the other ones, but I mean, new is relative, I guess. It was done about a month ago. So you guys want me to put the, the one where I'm flipping off the, the camera <laughs> behind me? <laughs> Vic, any thoughts on a poorly wicking crown tank, please? Probably a dodgy coil mat. Okay, How you doing, Aries. Marcus? Um, I'm trying to catch up. Go ahead and stop your pics are not good for my blood pressure. <laughs> Naughty X with the pocket coils in it. I am having chicken livers tomorrow. There is a local place that cooks chicken livers and I'm going to get some and I'm going to eat them. Techie Team guy. iron is the best. Sorry, go ahead. Mm, Take a guy. I've got an Aspire CF, like the tubular, the carbon fiber mod. I've got one, but I never use it now. We should rename this show. No sinner, because that was a one-off. We're all done now. Now we can talk about vape gear and food. Let's go back to food. Ben Jones, Vic, I saw a review of the Peerless earlier. I'm confused as all hell by the deck. If you use just the bottom slots, does that mean you offset the coils? Yep. Okay. Got to offset it. What the? F what? There is a very loud thumping noise Probably outside. A Might be a branch on your roof. It wasn't on the roof. It was outside. It was not something that hit the house, but I'm afraid it may have like been the neighbor running into their own house or something. Oh dear. It's not steamy in my house, Sinner. Everything's fine. <laughs> totally normal. Gwen, some liver pate should be good for you. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking goose liver pate. Like actual real pate is something I should try to find. Ian Harvey, there is no such thing as a foolproof RDA for overdripping. Just don't overdrip. <laughs> Just don't overdrip. Good advice. Uh -huh. Drippers were never designed to carry a lot of juice. That's the problem, because they're not tanks. Um, okay, so I'm thinking in about five minutes you're going to want to start your first looks. Yeah, more than likely. There's okay. a lot to go through. There's a hell of a lot to go through. And I'm getting something else in tomorrow. The um, the, the Lost... No, it's, is it Lost Fate? No, it's the Limitless... That new one from Limitless, that's arriving tomorrow. I was hoping it would get here today, but it didn't. Yorkshire Fox, you reviewed the Derringer, Vic. Nope. When the Derringer came out, I... That's the one, the arms race. Thanks, Eric. Um, when the Derringer came out, I was still doing a lot of juice reviews because the Derringer's quite an old dripper now. When was that out? End of 2015, I think. That was a while ago. Vic, did you get rid of the cherry fudge ripple? Oh yes. Yeah, Barry. Yeah. It, it wasn't nice. No, it wasn't nice. Straight in the bin. <laughs> Graham, it's cool. We're enjoying the Gwen first looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, FF Stoken. See, that just ruined it. Never mind. I'll stick with chicken livers. Because these yeah. chicken livers are not chickens that are harvested. 
art. And the gizzards. My connection just went poof again, by the way. Mm. Are you back? Yeah. <laughs> Vic, you should review the sift. I don't know what that is. The sift? Never heard of it. Gwen, have looked at the McVitie's website. Jaffa Cake Bars, Jaffa Cake Bars, Jaffa Cake Are we still poofed? I don't know. I can see you now. Refresh. Well, it looks like okay. the cast is back. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Gail says we're back. Jo Jonathan says we're back. Back. That's the way the French do it, going foie gras. Yes, I know, but um, in in France, if I were to be able to find actual French foie gras, I actually would probably be more willing to buy that and eat it because something tells me that they're a lot more likely to use the whole goose, mm. like butcher the goose and use the entire thing. Osman, I think they are, but the 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 siren two is not going to be out for a couple of months yet, though. Probably end of summer. Well, in any case, I'm eating chicken livers tomorrow, and today I'm having almonds and Korean barbecue beef jerky. <laughs> Starbucks putting all cookies down. So funny, watch Quinn on a diet. Yeah. I have a big old cup of Starbucks, I have my almonds, I have my beef jerky, I have Jaffa cakes. How did you manage to crack the glass in the Troll RTAP, Ben? The, the glass in this is actually quite thick. Did you horse it on with pliers or something? Damn. No, I, I, You're the first one I've heard that's cracked the glass in the Troll just by screwing it on. Yeah, Sabina, that sounds like animal cruelty. So we'll just forget about the foie gras. And yeah. yeah. No, nope, not gonna do that. <laughs> Karak, I've just had me dinner. Talk about all the food you want. <laughs> Mind wipe, eventually you will learn that you need to bring snacks to the show. Yeah. Yeah. Because I talk about food, Vic talks, talks about vape stuff, and then I vape every once in a while on my jewel. And he looks like a damn train. Choo -choo. Mm. Okay, so 7.45. We... Yep, that's what I was just about to say. First look time. Hold on, get this camera set up first. Uh, Alan, you good. can get iron tablets over the counter here, easily. Uh, and she recommended that I start taking them. But I hate them. I had to take them while I was pregnant because I was severely anemic while I was pregnant and I hate them. And I'm trying to boost my iron through my diet instead of just taking the tablets. Mm. Osmond, no, I did not color my hair. See, it's still gray. <laughs> Jonathan, I'm currently smoking ribs on the barbecue pit. Mm. Mr. That Techie Guy says, later, Vic. Oh, catch you later, Techie Guy. Right, what are we going to look Ooh, at? Ooh, fire all I like pistachios. S. Irwin, drink Guinness. Good idea. Guinness yeah, Carica Colace, I know. <laughs> okay, let's sort this camera out first. It are. Poof. Don't Poofed. You're back now. Network conditions are affecting your call. Okay, wait in the cast catch. You're not first. I think we're back. Hi, Ian. Guinness only has trace amounts of iron. Okay, good to know. Well, it's, you know, I'm not a big drinker anyway. 
the see heme iron is better for you than non-heme iron. So I have both right now. Be, with the beef jerky, I have heme iron, and the almonds have non-heme iron. Okay, welcome back, Aries. Vic, is your upload fully loaded? If so, it's, try limiting that a bit. It's got nothing to do with that. It's the connection itself. The connection's just dropping out for a second or two and then coming back up again. It's been doing it. Well, it's been doing it since they were trying to fix the connection since last week. Because mm -hmm. the connection went down completely. Yeah. For a while. <laughs> Storm Gwen, I just went to make a cup of tea and came back with a big bag of Crawford's cheese savories. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, let's have a bit of first looks here. We may as well do the mod that everyone's been asking about. De -dum, de -dum, pop that off. Pop you there. This! Hey, Mike, more thoughts than the Joytech Evac Primo. It's a good mod, Jim. The Evac Primo. I've got mine sitting here somewhere. There it is, there. Sitting at the back. I haven't had a chance yet, John. I've been too busy preparing for the cast. So, what we have here, folks, is. The brand new, well, it's this thing. It's the brand new Predator 288 from Wismec. And what Hi, I'm Marcus. Do... Hi, Marcus. Mark says, be careful with too much iron, Gwen. It's called hemochromatosis. You probably already know this. I'm Vic's doctor mate from Lancashire. Um, I probably pronounced that wrong. But... La, you did Lancashire. Yeah, you did. Oh, yay. Hooray. Yay for me. Anyway, yes, I am under a doctor's care. They've tested my blood and I am anemic. So I need to increase my iron level. Um, so I will be getting tested regularly by my doctor. Mm. So don't worry about it. It'll be okay. So, hold on. Uh, zooms in. Let's bump the focus out just a touch. So here we go, folks. This is the brand new... And that's it from the top down, so you can see the shape of it. This is the brand new Wismec Predator 288. It's got a bar button. A uh, bar button, so it's, it's one of those grip fiery things. You grip it to fire it. But it's an interesting screen they've got on this. Getting into the menu is easy. You hit the power button three times. Then you've got the blinky thing. And then you're up and down, just scrolls through the menu. Temperature control for nickel. Then you've got temp control. Oh, hold on, I went past it. Come on. Temp control nickel. Titanium stainless steel 316, and back to nickel again. You've got all the men. You've got all the um, stuff and things down there. I've just got this in today, so I haven't had a chance to have a good close look at it yet. But it's it's a relatively easy menu to go through. It's got the whole one, two, three. Come on, there. TCR, back to power again, and that's you. You've got a, you've got a more detailed readout on the main screen. Voltage, ohms, puff counter, and the amp draw, and the two battery indicators that are down there. And there's your 510 air fed, as you can see. I know it's not centered. I know some people were asking us. It's not a centered 510. It's off to one side because it's Wismec. It's always offset, and it takes. Two 18650 batteries at the bottom. It's um, it's a rather heavy mod for its size, considering it's a dual battery mod. It's actually got a fair bit of weight to it. Um, somebody was asking, what do I think of this compared to... <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to read that to you. Back, back. Is it spring loaded? Okay. Or is it, what is it you say? You don't say spring loaded. You say spring mounted. Vic, Vic, is it a spring loaded or spring mounted 510 connection, Vic? Let's find out. Why, yes, it is. It's a spring mounted 510 connection. Good to know. But, um, yeah, this is uh, up next to the uh, Evic Primo. And as you can see, the Primo is a much bigger mod because of the way the Primo's been designed. Uh, between the two of them, I'm, I've still to make my mind up, to be honest. Between the two of them, I'm still making my mind up. This has got a very nice grip because of the way it's shaped, though it's a lot more comfortable in the hand comparing it to the Primo, which is a much longer front-to-back mod. But, um, yeah, there we go. That's the Predator. Come on, switch on. 
Dom there Murphy. Evening, ladies and gents. Nice 228-watt mod, Victor. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be 228. You're probably going to be... You're, you'll probably get something like what? What are you going to get from this? 190? Maybe 190 pushing it? But yeah, there's the Evic Prebo and the box it comes in. 205. Oh, there you go, Aries. 205. The box it comes in. Pop this out. You've also got this little fella, which is... What tank's this? It's the Elabo tank, which is a brand new tank from Wismec that comes with the actual... Not, not that mod, that's the wrong one. Comes with the actual mod as well. So you get this as a kit. I haven't even had this tank out yet, because I just got this lot yes, well, today. What's the battery shaft like, tight or loose? Um, I'd actually go with quite tight, actually. Hold on. Yeah, it's tight. The Hyde housing wants part to know if you here. throw it out a car window at 88 miles per hour, will it travel through time? <laughs> 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 Storm says, damn you, Vic, I've just ordered the bloody alien. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, look at... It's a sealed bag. Why did they put it in a sealed bag? Oh, there we go. Barry's got a measured 205. And we're back. It quick poof. Blipped out again. Yep, that was a very quick blip. Yep. Yeah, we're back. There we go. That's what it looks like with the tank sitting on top. Uh, Ohm Base would like you to put the Aerobomizer Plus on the Wismac. The plus, yeah, you're gonna get an overhang. Yeah, depends how big the overhang is, though. Hold on. Actually, Control it's not F5. too bad. That's it. Hold on, move that out of the way. That's it with the plus on it. In fact, hold on. Do one even better. We'll head up to the main cam and do it this way. There you go. That's it with there the plus go. sitting on it. There's an overhang on the front, but it's not too much. And there's a little bit of an overhang on the side, but then again, it's still not much. It does overhang, though. It definitely does. And there we go, folks. That's the Wismec Predator 28, or 228. Uh, with the new Elabo tank, I think they're calling it. Yeah, the new Elabo tank, which is in the box. I keep having to to click down to the cast and then do a hard refresh to make us mm. come back again. So I just typed in chat in case anyone, if we poofed for anyone and not and did not come back. Um, there is just a knock on my door, and I think it was the UPS guy. Hang on, real quick. Okie doke. Yeah, it's about a millimeter, half a millimeter overhang. That's not much of an overhang. So there we go, folks. Little bit of a close-up look on the Wismec Predator, which is shipping out right now. There's the up and down button there. There's the screen there, and your 510s at the top. Battery comes in from the base, and yeah, it's it's a heavy mod as well. So that's the Predator. Who was it? UPS guy. You're muted. You're muted. Sorry. <laughs> um, yes, it was the UPS guy, but he just left the package on the porch. I ah, thought I might have to right. sign for it, but it's it's just a, a shirt my husband ordered. So that's yeah, the Predator. And now we're going to have a look at this. I'll tell you something, Pioneer for Use came a long way. This is the IPv8. Uh, Yorkshire Fox, I don't know, I don't have a clue how much the Wismec Predator is, I just got it in today. So I haven't had a chance to check up any of the details on it yet. Just come in today. So this is the, uh, this is kind of old. The IPv8's been out for about a couple of months now. But, um, yeah, Pioneer for Use came a long way since the original IPv1 that was released in 2015. And there we go. It's got an SX, what is it, the SX330 chip that's in this from what I remember. Uh, check atomizer. There's your up and down there. There's your little screen there. Five ten at the top. 
This is it side by side compared to the Predator. They're basically the same size. Look at it. Default has one in his hand. Mm -hmm. Chad is They're making me laugh. Ones. Gwen's getting food delivered now. Not today, but I do often get food delivered, actually. <laughs> George, this will not fit the Aroma Miser Plus. It's got an... Oh, well, in fact, I'll show you. It's got one hell of an overhang. Because this mod's just a little bit thinner than the Predator. So there we go. There's the overhang. DJ centered 510, but not on a huge mod. You're, you're partially the way there. Yeah, big overhang. I'm I'm actually enjoying this IPv8. It's a, it's a it's a fine mod. It's a, it's got a relatively old chip in it though. It's, it's at 330. It's either the SX330 or the SX350 chip that's in this. So it's a relatively old chip, but the mod itself is solid. It takes two 18650 batteries in the base, as you can see, and yeah, it's it's a solid workhorse mod. Bless you. T thank you. Did I, I mute it, didn't I? Yeah, you did mute. Okay, yeah. I didn't want to sneeze in everybody's ear. Because <laughs> I sneeze a lot louder than Vic does. Yeah. He has yeah, those little kitten sneezes, yeah. and I, yeah. I am louder. Here we go. The IPV, I won't bother doing a big close-up on this because the 8's been out for a long, long time now. So that's one mod. That's two mods. Now to look at the third mod. There's, I've had a lot of stuff in this week, folks. Vic, is the E-Leaf iStick QC a good mod? Yes, it is, because I've got mine sitting here, and I'm using it all the time. QC's a good mod. Something new is the 330 chip. Cheers, Storm. Something new from Vapor SO. This... What is that thing in the back, Vic? Leather? George wants to know. It's some... It's not leather. It's some kind of very tough felt sticker thing. Which is kind of odd because it turns into a lint magnet. Just sucks in. That's bits of your annoying. So it's cars. fuzzy. Felt, yeah, it's felt. That's it. It's basically felt. It is fuzzy. You can peel it off though, because it's a sticker. Lovely. Yeah, I don't know why they put that on there. That's kind of odd putting that there. So, what we've got here is the vapor so nebula this one was released last month what it's got lint roller haha -ha. <laughs> yeah exactly if you took that and, like ran it on your clothes it would probably pick up all the lint mm, mm -hmm. yeah it would so this is the vapor so nebula it's the new it's the uh, new mod uh, from vapor so it looks a little bit like the target doesn't look I a like little it. bit like the target They've changed the design. It's it, well, it's, it's kind of based off the target, but they've changed a couple of stuff at the back end, and it does take a twenty six six fifty. I've got the I've got a Tesi U battery in here, but it's the new one that takes a twenty six six fifty. Or no, it's not a two battery target, Aries. It's a single battery target. Only takes one battery. Uh, it takes a single 26650 or a single 18650 with adapter. And it's a rather nice mod. I love the looks of this. If you're going to get this, get the red one because the red one's cool. Same little triggery button thing there. You've got, you're up and down there. You've got a menu entry system there. And it's got basically the same chip the target's got. So if you've got a target, you'll be able to use this thing straight away. Because it's basically got the same chip. They've just changed it. They've just bumped the... They've altered the wattage and they've tightened up the temp control. That's what they've done. This is a nice mod though. I like the looks of this. And it's very comfortable to hold as well. Very comfortable to hold. In fact, you know what? Hold on, I'll give you all a close-up. Video input. Is it focus? Here we are. That, there we that go. might be a little bit too much. There we go. That's the nebula close up. Main screen there. Up and down button there. Menu entry in there. Uh, charge port is down there. It's a nice looking mod. I like it. I know, I know. I missed the melon too. And is missing the link guru today. She would have her work cut out for her today with how many. She would. Be as far as looks you have. <laughs> but keep an eye out for an alternative version on that because I didn't get the 26650. The nab I got was 2 times 18650. Oh, you didn't get it. Well, it's, a, it's a single battery mod, this one. 
Yeah. There we go. Just one battery. With the adapter, it takes a tw with the adapter, it takes an eighteen six fifty. Passport two. Working. You red. I've seen some gnarly reds before, <laughs> but I like that one. It's sort of a, a dark cherry. It is. Yeah. Dark cherry. Very comfortable mod to hold as well. Scott wants it in brushed stainless steel or brushed copper. Storm, oh. can you ask Vic to scroll up, please? I can scroll up. Vic, I'm surprised they never sent the S stock mega tank with the Vaporesso Nebula mod. It wasn't Vaporesso that sent it. Vaporesso's never sent me anything. I got it from a vendor instead. So that's three mods we've had a look at. So what else have we got here? Let's bump that back down. Mary says that they keep losing me. Keep losing you? Yeah. Oh. Mm. I can't mm. wait to watch this replay. <laughs> See yeah, what the be, hell happened. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. This is from a new company called Vaporstorm. And they're called, I know they're called Vaporstorm because they've actually written it on the side of their mod. This is an <laughs> inbuilt LiPo pack battery. It's, it's. I don't like that. Oh, why I would like, like that much better if it didn't have that weird crackly old like saddle leather thing going on. Oh, this thing going on with the finish on it. <laughs> See, I don't like it. it. But yeah, this is the new Vapor Storm Hundred. It's got an inbuilt lipo in it. Five tens offset at the back. Twenty. In fact, hold on. Have I got a twenty-five millimeter tank here? Done. Deep pin. I'll put my feet on my seat if I want to. Uh, the, the interesting thing with this is if you put a 25mm tank on it, you get a hell of an overhang. So the actual mod was built for 22mm tanks. So, yeah, that's a major yeah. overhang. Niji says yeah. authentic crackly leather sticker? Yes. Oh, thank you. That's, exactly. No, it's actually metal. It's metal? It's... Yeah, I don't it's, like it's... it. It's a finish they've put on top of the metal. It's probably a painted acrylic or something like that, but it's definitely metal. FF Stoke and Gwen, the replay will be fine. I watched back some shows this week that also had major hiccups and the recording didn't show any. Okay, good to know. Vapor Storm, Gwen, 100. 100 what? Vapor Storm 100, that's the name of the mod. Oh, okay. And there we go. There's the screen. Up and down button there. Fire button is up there, which is a kind of odd place to put it. You need to thumb fire this one, basically. And it's a little inbuilt. Is it 100 water? I think this is 100 water. Hold on, we'll find out. The deep pin, I was going to put my foot down, but now that you've said that, I'm going to keep it up here just to spite you. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to do both. <laughs> How do you like them apples? But yeah, little hundred water. Um, it's, it's, I would it's, like it in a different color, I think. I it think does come in different colors. The finish of yeah. it is just bothering me. <laughs> it does come in different colors. In fact, hold on, I'll give you a close-up of the finish. It's not too bad. Here we go. Waiting for the cast to catch up. Dandy pen, I was hoping you would put both on. <laughs> See, I don't like it. I think it looks alright. No. It's, that's like, no. <laughs> it's not aesthetically pleasing to me at all. Oh, speaking of not liking something, um, when you said in your review, I think it was your vape mailbox review, or you said, I don't like it at all about the cherry fudge ripple or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. You reminded me of David Tennant. <laughs> when he walked in, he's like, oh, you've redecorated. I don't like, I like it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, what let's have a look at have? Aries print screen. What does he have? I don't know, but I'm clicking it. <laughs> Both feet up and my hands up. Oh dear. There you go. <laughs> it's me. Being flexible and shit. <laughs> Hello Day, can anyone tell me what that first mod is that he showed? The silver one. What is the silver one that you showed? Oh, this one. That's the Wismet Predator. There we go, Wismec Predator. Just been released. Dun, dun, dun. So there Gwen we go. going full Kellyanne Conway. <laughs> <laughs> Except my feet are flat on my seat and it's my chair. Like I can do whatever I want to this chair. 
Gwen on a roller coaster. Whee! <laughs> no, it's not photoshopped. I can actually do that with my legs. Yeah, yeah, she can. She can actually do that. Gonna take a little bit of a VP break because I've still got loads of stuff to go through. There's there was a lot of stuff that came in this week. A lot of stuff. Let's drag out the SX money. Here we go. <sighs> yeah, I noticed the pictures that you were posting in your group. Like, just in, just in, just in, just in. Just in. in. Like, Fuck, the show is gonna be busy this week. The Sunday's gonna, the Sunday one's gonna be the same because there's more stuff coming in tomorrow. Eric, prove it, Gwen. I don't know if I can on this chair because I'm afraid <laughs> that I might tip off of it. Because the the screenshot that Aries has is on my couch, which yeah. is right over there. We'll head up to the main screen. Have a chill for a few minutes. Have a beep. No, I don't I suppose scoot back a little bit. And I'm wearing jeans. Yeah, I don't maybe, want you fall I don't want you falling. Maybe off if that I chair. hold on to my feet. There we go. I mean you can't really see it very well, but <laughs> If I tried that I'd, I'd if I tried that I'd break my hip, fracture my spine and fall off the chair. I could feel myself sort of sliding out of my chair. That's why I put my feet back down, because I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to end up under the desk. Okay, all done. <laughs> Battlefield Matt, I'm interested in getting my first dripper. Any suggestions? Uh, Battlefield Matt, your first dripper, you'd want something that is easy to coil on. Geek Vape Tsunami. I was yeah. going to ask if the Tsunami was still what you recommended for that. Gwen can fold up like a deck chair. Yep. Yorkshire Fox, most embarrassing vaping moment. I don't know. I haven't really had any embarrassing vaping moments. Well, apart from the spills on the live cast, but that's not vaping, that's me building something. Vaping moment? I can't think of any. I've never kissed a coil. And I know people that's done I know a lot of people that's done that. I've never kissed a coil. Um, I can't think of any. I'm thinking. Yeah, I the, can't. the limitless, the limitless thing doesn't count. Don't stop typing limitless. <laughs> <laughs> Three times <laughs> dumping juice on your build mat. Um, how many headphones do you already own, Gwen? The pick is a green one on your head. Uh, these are the green headphones right here. These are my comfy headphones that I wear when I'm just like listening. Uh, I bought. I have two more pairs. I have these and I have the Logitech ones that I bought for casting specifically because the microphone on the green ones is terrible. Yeah, he's got a screenshot of you, by the way. Of course he did. Of course he let's, did. Let's click that link. Vic can't decide on a VaporShop DNA 200 or VaporShop DNA 250. <laughs> Any thoughts? Uh, don't get a VaporShop and get a Yee Hee base chip instead. But if you don't want to get a Yee Hee base chip, go for the 250 because they've done upgrades comparing it to the old 200. If you want to get a DNA, go for the 250. Graham, your red face when Gwen called you sexy. I was just reading chat, Graham. <laughs> Who was it that said that? Somebody said you were hot when you rant? Who was that? Oh, was it Emily? I think it might have been Emily. It I might have remember. been Emily. I can't remember. Crap. Okay, good night, Scott. Good night, Scott. How you doing, Kelv? Zio, does this happen to you too? The ones that are most bothered by me vaping are the smokers, which doesn't make any sense. I haven't been around a smoker in quite a long time, so I don't um, know. Some of my family still smokes, but most of them have switched Hi, to vaping. Hi, Kelvin. Now. How you doing? How you doing, Kelvin? Emma. Emma. Emma nice. guessing. Yeah. Well, thank you, Osman. Right, so I've had my vape break. Let's go back into the first looks. <laughs> okay. I was about to put my foot behind my head to entertain the crowd while you vaped. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, by the way, Kelv, if you haven't seen it yet, Kelv, he's the predator. In case you missed it, because you've just popped in. There's the predator right there. It's actually quite a small mod, Kelv. It looked big in the pictures, but for a dual battery mod, it's a bit in the small side. Bar firer on the side, in case you're wondering, Kelv. There you go. So, move all these mods out of the way four mods came in. Actually, technically it's five because I've got an MVP for it. Now, it's not, when I, when I review this, it's not going to be a full review because I've already reviewed the MVP four separately, but this <laughs> is... Bastard. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> let, 
look, look, Kev, look, these are the mods I got in, just to, just to, you know, rub it in a bit more. But this is the MVP4 Retail Kit. Hi, Dolores. Hi, Dolores. Retail Kit. So it's basically the MVP4 repackaged in a retail kit. So here's the MVP4 here. You've all seen Hi, the Lou. MVP4. Hi, Lou. You've all seen the MVP4, but it does come with a tank now. And here is the tank down there. They're, they're shipping it with the Anakin I sub V tank. Hi, Emma. <laughs> Hi, Emma. Was it you who said Vic was hot when he rants? <laughs> oh, and I was going to respond to King Cobra in chat, but I can do it since you're not talking right now. Um, I have smelled someone smoking from across a parking lot. Oh. Like I was walking through a parking lot and I smelled cigarette smoke like coming from all the way over there on the other side of the parking lot. I was yeah. like, God, when I smoked it, yeah, I guess that it did that. Like it travels really, really far. Yeah, it does. It does. Sloan says Vic is not... always hot. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Matt. How you doing, Matt? Gwen the Bloodhound. I think my sense of smell has just gotten better since I quit smoking. Yeah, it would, as it would be the sense of smell. Definitely would be. And there Emma, we go, Yeah, folks. I have a slight admiration crush on Vic. Full disclosure. Ha ha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make his face turn pink. <laughs> And there we go, folks. That's the MVP4 Retail Kit. It's the same old MVP4 that we all know and recognise, but they're chucking in an I sub V tank. And if you're in the, if you're in Europe, it'll be an I sub V E tank. They're chucking in. And there we go. Good little kit. Good little kit. This. I like what they've done with it. I don't like the I sub tank. Sorry, George from Anakin. I don't <laughs> like it at all. John, Vic is always hot. His mum controls the central heating. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I've got the fan on right now. Oh boy. So that was the Anakin I sub. Oh, not the Anakin I sub. That's the Anakin MVP four. Pop that round there, and we've got still more stuff. We are now starting the. Calvin, I'm just reading works. chat. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Hold Don't on, be alarmed, do... Vic. I'm police checked for my job. Kissy face. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> so she's not going to stalk you. She's just going to admire you from afar. <laughs> <clears throat> Move all this out of the way. For the people that missed the, the beginning of the first look, Wismet Predator, uh, IPV8, Nebula from Vapor SO, and the Vapor Storm, uh, Vapor Storm, Storm Hundred from Vapor Storm. So that's all the mods I got, and in, including the MVP4. We're gonna have a look at a whole crap load of stuff from OBS now that was all sent at the same time. This is the OBS. <laughs> what? I know. I said, Gwen, that's the definition of stalking. And then right below him, Emma said, "It's Irvin, right?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love you guys. Uh. <laughs> Aries, for the right price, I can get his address to you. <laughs> right there, Aries. Right Actually, there. Actually, so can I. Oh, god. <laughs> shall, shall we start the auction? To the no. highest bidder? No. 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 <laughs> If Emma wins the next giveaway, fix. Watch oh, yeah. Skypot pick her name, right? <laughs> oh my god. So this is the OBS V. Uh, it's a OBS V tank, sorry. It's got a rather odd shaped coil down there. This is the latest release out of the line of tanks they've been bringing out recently. Niji, fact... just keep entering the giveaways, Emma. You'll eventually win his address. <laughs> Osman, I always wondered what beer tasted like. Never had it. Got a beer flavored e liquid. Tasted like wet shoes. <laughs> <laughs> wet shoes? Ew. Oh my god. I'm corpsing. Everything is making me laugh. Help. 
<laughs> this is a coily show, Dolores. <laughs> Yeah, there's the V, and there's the absolutely insanely wide bore coil that they're using for the V tank. Massive, it's a dual parallel. <laughs> it's a dual parallel coil by the looks of it as well. There we go. Gwen would be cheaper. You can bribe her with Jaffa cakes. Aries would want a gallon or ten of Aries Ram. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's bottom airflow in this one, Jonathan. Bottom airflow, down there. There we go. I bet. What's the coil rated at? That's a good question. Hold on. 0.15 ohms. 120 to 260 watts. Best range, 140 to 230 watts. Says it right Somebody there. Somebody screenshot what Kelvin just said. I hate to say it, but I'm in love with the alien mod. Not used anything else since I got it. Yeah. Kelvin's turned into a smock fanboy. How you yep. doing, Alan? Hi, Alan. What else no, is I said very here? plainly, five mil of Ares Ram would do it. So Ares <laughs> is cheaper than me. <laughs> Couple of spare coils down here. This is a 0.15 ohm quad setup as you can see it's basically a tfv4 coil you've got in here and this one's rated at 0.15 90 to 180 watts and the second spare coil hi big dripper uh boss man has a question is this what i need to buy if i want to try for the first time geek vape tsunami rda is that That's what he the needs one. to buy okay geek vape tsunami rda and the third coil is this fella look at that <laughs> Duke, I hate my laugh, so thank you. That's lovely of you to say. My laugh is infectious. Um, Gwen, do you do yoga? Occasionally, I know. Now, is this uh, parallel or is it single? Yorkshire it's says parallel. it looks like a juice guzzler. Uh, yeah, it is. Yorkshire, it is. It is. I've got a second one of these tanks because they sent th this... They sent three by mistake. I think it was two people shipping it, shipping them out at the same time. So uh, this one's, I'm not going to be using this because this is going to be for a giveaway later on this month, probably. Uh, I had this coil in the first tank and oh boy, did it suck that tank dry. It was like just vape, 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 vape. Fire alarm went off, had to shut the door and open the window. Vape, vape, vape. In about five minutes, the tank was empty. It was literally empty because this particular coil just that goes through a lot of juice. A lot of juice. But there we go. That's Ian the... wants to know if it comes with the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit like a gat. It looks a bit like a, a, a revolver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. It looks like a revolver six shooter. cartridge. Yep. Yep. I did. I know. I did center myself after the laughing fit. Deep breath. <laughs> Hi, UK Andy. Hi, Andy. Lance, I wish they'd stop making shit bigger and just make it better, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. So that's the OBS V tank. Rather big tank, it holds about, I think it's 5 mil? I think it's 5 mil this thing holds. So it holds a fair amount of liquid. That's the, oh, that's the OBS V. Something else from OBS is this little Hi, fella. Hi, Foggy on the Vapor Lounge. Hi, Foggy. This is the engine mini sub, right? This is the stock coil sub ohm tank version of the little engine tank. And as you can see, top airflow because it's an engine tank. But down here, instead of having the rebuildable section. Wait, Emma has a question. She poofed. Is there an RBA deck on the other one? On the V tank? Nope, there isn't. Nope. Okay. Nope. Stock coil only. Uh, this is the engine, uh, this is the, what is it? There's two engines, this well there's actually three engines, engine sub mini. So this is an engine tank that takes stock coils. And if you look at the bore of that coil, that is insane. Hi Mark Thomas, coil... hi Walker. Hi Mark. And the spare coils in here, as you can see. Yousef, does 5mm really class as a big tank nowadays? I'd call it a medium sized tank. 
since the advent of the plus, it kind of ups true, the average a little bit. True, and then the Mason dump tank as well. Yep. Nothing much special going on with this, folks. It's another stock coil tank. However, true clap. The engine I'm looking forward to looking at is this. This is the second of the engine tanks that came out. This is the engine Nano, and this one is a rebuildable. It's got the same looks. Uh, the same looks as the original engine rebuildable tank, top airflow as you can see. Um, hey David, uh, Vic, I took my siren to my metal guy and asked him to drill a smaller hole. He said it could be done. Good idea. Uh, drill a smaller hole? Would that be like an extra hole? I don't understand exactly what you're saying, Osman. Oh, hi Scuba. Says, well damn, I was flying live while your show was on. Oops. No biggie. Uh Take my siren to the metal guy and ask him to drill a smaller hole. He said it could be done. Good idea. Well, you could. Hold on a minute. Where's my siren? Does the click stop stop at a certain position? Yeah, you can because the click stop doesn't. It's it's not a blocked stop, so you could keep spinning it around. Yeah, maybe a hole. Maybe another hole that's half the size of the smallest one. That should okay. do the trick. That'll there you the go. You. Give it a try, Osman. But yeah, here's the OBS, uh, the OBS Engine Nano, and this one is a rebuildable. Hold on, we'll pop the deck off in this. Can you coil that one today? Yes, I can. Doesn't stink of, <laughs> doesn't stink of machining oil. However, I like how you shoved it up your nose. <laughs> Check. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really it's only way to check this is a little two poster design yes Dundeepin he wants a smaller small hole there we go single coil going across the two posts wicking there wicking there the juice pops in from underneath the deck so technically it's kind of an RDTA but it isn't really an RDTA and this is what hey, we're Steve. coiling on this is what we're coiling on. Oh, Scuba, have you seen the Predator yet? You're just about to. So I can force you to spend more money. Here you go, Scuba. <laughs> There's all the new Wizmec. There's the. Oh, how you doing, all day vapes? Here you go, Scuba. That's the new Predator. Poof. Yeah, we, we poofed. Did we? Yeah, it was. It was just another hiccup. Let's oh, try. VC. VC didn't go this time though. Control F5. It did for me. You hiccuped on VC for me, but it was really quick. Oh. It was really just, it was literally like two seconds. I think we're back. Yeah, back. We're back. Yeah, Kevin says back. Yeah. Back. We're back. No, there we go. Cop out, so he's only go. doing a single coil, but USA gets dual. No, Dundee Pin. Uh, the way we're doing it now is we are. Um, switching shows so one week thursday will have coily time and sunday will have the giveaway and then the next week thursday will have the giveaway and sunday will have the coily time it was niji's idea and it's fabulous and it's easy to keep track of because i have a spreadsheet that's right she's got a spreadsheet yeah scuba i like cheesy piece <clears throat> here you go scuba in case you haven't seen the predator yet the Wismec predator just been released dual battery mod Really, really nice screen on it, and it's a bar firer. This whole bar fires the thing. I'm actually liking this mod. It's very nice. Rather heavy, but it's very nice. And that's it, folks. That's all the first looks. So just to recap, Wismec Predator 228, uh, the Vapor SO Nebula, the Vapor Storm Vapor Storm 100, uh, IPV8. Oh, okay, the IPV8 is kind of old now, but I just get my hands in this IPV8. Um, engine Nano, that's what we're coiling today. OBS Vank. What? Who is Scuba going to choke? You poofed me. again. Dada? Uh huh. Just a little hiccup. Yeah, we know. We poofed. Are we, we back now? Have, we shouldn't have really cast it today because this is getting annoying now. It's alright. Lots of little poofs. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> poof, 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 poof. I'm in a really good mood because I got a free cup of coffee today. And it's huge. Um, I got a free cup of coffee true. as big as my head. 
<laughs> so yeah, engine mini, uh, OBS V tank, and the OBS engine nano. That's all the tanks that came in today. That's a lot of stuff from OBS that was sent in. Patrick, Vic, it's fine. We got the Gwen picks. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube is not the issue, Emma. Right now, it's Vic's connection. Virgin is um, being stupid right now. The Duke, no, it is a vanilla breve latte. So it's literally like four shots of espresso and then the rest of the cup filled with half and half steamed. And it's delicious. I mean, it's Starbucks, so it's, you know, it's all right. It's not the best cup of coffee I've ever had, but it's good. Big Dripper will probably end up doing the, the Wismec 228 end of next week. Give it another week. End of next week. Yeah, see, default says the poofs are small. It's no biggie. True, true. Yes, so, Dolores, what? mega calories. I told, I've put all the calories into my face, please. But why are you turning off your light? I'm turning on the other light. Oh, okay. We're gonna coil. <laughs> no, George, it is not spring mounted. <laughs> We're going to coil on the engine nano because it's only a single coil and it'll, I can do this with my shot, he said. You, okay, so on the screen nothing was happening but I looked over at your VC window and it looked like you were like pounding on your desk. I was like, what the fuck is happening? What are you? And then I looked at the screen and you're screwing the thing onto the... Oh, so right. it was a little louder than normal. No, Einar. Yeah, I love the well. steampunk mush. It's gorgeous and I want one. Just to look at. I don't know if you could call it. It's, it's got the same bulky shape as the <laughs> RX. It's got the same bulky shape as the RX 300, and it's got roughly the same kind of screen. But yeah, you're right. The 510 still hasn't been centered. It, it hasn't. I had. I did have the. I did have the. Um, the Aroma Miser Plus sitting on top, and it was a half millimeter overhang all the way around. So yeah, there's no chance you could put the plus on top of this. There really isn't. It's a nice mod, though. I'm actually fairly enjoying this mod. Okay, Victor, your mouth has written a check. Your ass can't cash. Coil it with your eyes blindfolded. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. They're offset on this one, and it's yeah, it's 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 a it's a different offset. So I'm gonna have to back coil the coil stoking so it's not going to be a forward wind it's going to be a backward wind because of the way they've set out the the way they've set out the holes which is kind of odd because most people do a forward wind in the coil master this one needs a back wind which is kind of odd how you doing legion good night eric we'll see you later night eric uh dolores does your geek vape behave for you vic mine always gives me false readings this one behaves for me as long as I don't go below 0.3ish. If I go below 0.3, the reading ends up going fucking way off. That's why I usually use the coil master. But I like using this because it's it's it looks better. To be honest, I'm just to be honest. Bye, Kenny. Bye, Kenny. Hi, Empire. How you, how you doing, Empire? Have you seen the Predator yet, Empire? There you go. Now you have. That's the new Wismet Predator. Dual battery whiz mech mod. Rather nice. Buy one now. In fact, you know what you should do, Chris? Just get rid of all the smock stuff and just start stocking whiz mech stuff. Yes. Uh-oh. Harry <laughs> says Geek Vape and Coil Master are about as consistent and accurate as the wind. <laughs> this is true. Hello, Patrick. Um, right, I'm doing a single coil, so that means I'm, I don't know what to do, so I'm going to over to... Need to head over to Steam Engine. Empire said he should have one soon sent from Wismac. Yeah, I'll get mine sent from Wismac. Oh, and tomorrow, Chris, I'm getting the... Oh, fuck, I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the the Limitless Arms Race. That's it, I'm getting the Limitless <laughs> Arms Race tomorrow. You always forget the name of that thing. <laughs> I know. I can never remember the fucking name. The Limitless Arms Race. I'm getting that in tomorrow. Hi, right. Thunder Flash. Empire says F you, Vic. <laughs> uh, 0.5 millimeter single coil. Hi, Johnny. Vic's like a kid showing his mates his new toy. Uh huh. Yeah. It's all yeah. about first looks. Yeah. 
yeah, it's all about the first looks. Right, single coil, target resistance of round about 0 0.6. Did I get that right? Single There's coil. three dog when you need her. <laughs> Empire wants an arms race. AJ wants to know if Coil Master is ever going to come out with a bigger set of mandrels for rebuilding the monster vertical coil heads. Probably not, to be honest. We'll go for a 3mm coil, that's what we'll do. 3mm, oh, that's only 5 wraps. Okay, we're dropping it down to 2.5. Still only five wraps, damn. Um, okay, good night, Pugsley. Thanks for stopping by. Night, Pugsley. Go for a target resistance around about 0.6. So we're going for seven wraps, and it's a backward wrap we're doing. There we go, that sorted that out. Two point, oh, sorry, yeah, 2.5 millimeter. Jonathan, what we really want to know, Vic, is how many times have you ran around your room with the Starship Enterprise? Really? Really? <laughs> no. No. It sits there, pride of place. Mm -hmm. Because it's not a toy, it's a model. It's a model, yes. <laughs> mind, I didn't ask that! Ah, <laughs> mind. Okay, so it's not that one I use, it'll be this one. So I need to do a backward wind instead of a forward wind. Seven, did I say? Yeah, seven. SR1 would run around the room with it. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Shit. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck. One. So I'm just so used to forward binding on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, that is the seventh wrap. There we go. Gwen, I'm just wondering out loud here. It's a model of a fictional spaceship. How do they know the scale and shit then? The, technically, it is fictional. However, um, they can uh, extrapolate from actual spaceships that go out into space, like how big it would need to be. So, therefore, it's a model. Hmm. Okay, that's got to fit in there like that. And all they really have to do is make sure that it's to scale for, like, regular-sized people, and then shrink them down. Yep. Gonna do, uh... Gonna do a spaced coil in this one, folks, just to make sure I'm not screwing the thing up so that'll do it and apparently there are tech manuals that are published yeah there are and there's the there's the star trek encyclopedias as well what size well because of... the whole thing was designed like okay this is the ship this is where everything is and yep. then you know the people need to be able, able to walk around in it so extrapolation would be easy shrink the people no don't shrink the people Aries. <laughs> Hi, John Q. Public. Happy birthday. Oh, is it John's birthday? Yep. Happy birthday, John. Dundee Pin. Looks like he's struggling. Does he need help? Oh, and Empire got a Nautilus 2. He says, wow. Yeah, the Nautilus 2 is a good tank. And, of course, it's recessed. Damn it. I need to actually find an Allen wrench now, because that's not reaching down. Gwen, please put the menu back on your wall. It's too bright. My eyes, R.A.P. <laughs> okay. I know, Aries. <laughs> you are cracking me up, dude. All right, I'll put the menu back. Not a menu. So for the people that just popped in, this is the um, OBS Engine Nano. That's what I'm coiling. It's a little single coil tank, as you can see, with an odd hole layout like post hole layout you've got to backward wind in the coil master to do this one so that leg is in there that leg is in there uh, single coil canthal a1 0.5 millimeter seven wraps spaced so it should come out at around about 0.6 ish ohms close enough exactly john q public the big achievement for birthdays is not dying it's like not dying hey, yeah. you made it another year around the sun 
Gwen, that's actually a kind of a good explanation. I was sarcastic, but you actually blew me out of the water on that one. Bows in defeat. You're welcome. <laughs> I think I need to talk to your wife. Emma wants the soup. <laughs> Gwen, you could always hang grease paper in front of the light to diffuse it so it's not so harsh on the back wall. Ooh, like wax paper? Oh, I never thought of that. That's a good idea. John keep up. Like, I want to meet 15-year-old Gwen. Why? Five now. <laughs> Fuck it. Close enough. I was ten. Deep pen. I'm just happy but... when I fucking wake up in the morning. Never mind birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how are you looking? Yeah, that'll do. So here we go, folks. Give you a little bit of a close up here. This is the OBS Engine Nano for the people. Who <laughs> when just I was in. fifteen, sixteen, woman. All right. Because I guess he's not being creepy. Creepy old man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use go. wax paper. Combustible. I don't know how hot that bulb gets. It has is like a, a frosty... Is it LEDs or is it halogen? I don't fucking know. I put a bulb... It's halogen. That's halogen. Yeah, it's going to be way, way too warm then. Way too warm. Raise yeah. the coil? Really? You should eat these. John keep up like, oh, I'm creepy, just not this time. <laughs> Oven paper. Um, like, parchment? Yeah, that might work. If I can withstand the oven, I can probably withstand a light bulb. Uh, I don't think it needs raised areas and it's lined up, it's lined, look at that, there's loads of room. Touch it and see. That's a good idea. Okay, I can actually put my hand on it and it's warm, but not at all hot. Like, it's just slightly warm. But it's one of those, It maybe it is an LED. I don't know. I bought it at Target. I'm not going to kiss the bulb as I win. <laughs> okay, there we go. Here. He's a Good night, it up John. A bit more. John Christian Leon? Is that how you pronounce your last name? Uh, yeah, I think so. Good night, John. There you go, Aries. Raised it up a touch more. Yeah, because it gets its air from the air hole and it's actually pretty raised up there. There's where the air comes in. Because it's a top airflow tank. So let's I bend this icon. little fella in. You've missed pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just down to coily time right now. Oh, hold on. I know. Sometimes fun. this chat goes off on weird tangents. Sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> I would say every time. Vic, I'm loving the Cool Fire Mini lung hitting at 4 volts, 25 watts, even with a 50 50 juice and clouding like hell. That's lung my hitting with a 50 50, that's going to be rather scratchy. Ooh, I haven't lung hit a 50 50 for a long time. I have a sheet in front of me, S. Irwin, and I'm bouncing a lamp off of it. The, the lamp is right here um, to try to brighten up my face. Because if I turn the lamp off, that's what I look like. Yeah, I'm kind of sitting dark. in the dark. Yeah. Mm. So then I turn the lamp on, and you guys can actually see me. Sandu, okay, so I'm just going to get it and hope for the best. Get what, Sandu? Do do do. Chat is a lot easier to keep up with with yeah, the 15 seconds. Yeah, we've put 15 seconds in the slow mode. But I'm still missing stuff. So I think keeping it at 15 seconds is probably a good idea. I don't see your question, Sandu. Can you type it again, please? Oh, wait, no, wait. I think I found it. That was up really high. Is it hard to build on a Joytech BF RBA? I'm getting a cuboid mini tomorrow because the AIO just isn't doing it anymore for me. And is there an RBA in the package? Joytech what? BF RBA. I don't know what that is. I'm getting a cuboid mini tomorrow. Oh, I haven't tried that because I've, I've, I've tried the older 
RBA for that, that BFRB is one of the new ones. I've seen videos of it and it looks relatively easy to work on. A little bit cramped, but it looks relatively easy to work on. So there's the juice intake hole right there. Now technically it's it's a raised deck. So it's a bit like an RDTA. So I'm going to leave a little bit longer cotton than I usually would. But a centimetre and a half because I want some of that cotton to poke through the hole at the base. So there's some extra wicking. So right there will do it. There we go. Hi Carl. Uh, Matt says get the pro. It has RBA. Hi Carl. And Einar thought that slow mode would be annoying, but he hasn't hit it once, so I say keep it. Makes it a lot easier to follow chat. Yeah. It does. It's because we've, we've only put the slow mode on 15 seconds, that's all. Have a quick slug of tea first. Mm. In the Oregon Cup. Yeah, in the Oregon Cup. On again. Yay! Yay. I'm glad you're still <laughs> using it. I was afraid it would break by now. Not because no, you did anything to it, but because... I was afraid it was not good quality. No, no, it's holding up. Where did I put my... Good night, Yorkshire Fox. Good night, Yorkshire. Where the hell did I put my... Hi, Martin. Tweezers. Aries, it's fucking milk, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> right there, Aries. <laughs> Where did I put my hoop tweet? Oh, no, there they are. Hi, Conway. So I'm going to grab this cotton and stuff it underneath Bust stop the... rat bag. That tea looked like a banana milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> it's always baby tea balls. <laughs> I don't miss the Tweety Cup, Osmond. That thing was annoying. Stuff it down there. That might be a little bit too much cotton. Hold on, let's... See if I can tease this apart a bit more. There we go. Harry says, right there, Victor, and then posted the screenshot of you with your phone going. <laughs> and there we go, folks. As you can see, there's a little, there's little tufts of cotton sticking out underneath the deck because it's a raised deck, our DTA system they've got with the engine nano now. So a little bit of cotton going through the deck, that'll increase the wicking. And there we go, little single coil. Lovely. What juice am I going to use? I'm not going to use Niji any anthropomorphizes almost as much as you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to use Aries Ram because I'm slowly running out of that. So I'm going to use some of Higgy's Melon Baller. Because that's rather nice stuff actually, the Melon Baller. Hmm. Osman, Einar is not American. His English is just really, really, really good. <laughs> Scuba, when they're spaced, you don't really have to. True. That's looking good to me. A little bit more. Oh, I put lemon smell. in herbal tea, as Irwin, but not black tea. I put sugar and milk in my black tea. He's Norwegian, Osman. He's from Norway. Aries, I've lost track of what nationality I am. I know, me too. <laughs> and there we go. That's the OBS engine. All whacked up. Now I just need to fill it. Um, Empire. Vic, I want 120 mil Higgy code. What's a good flavor to go with? Aries Ram. Bypass Pertune. Uh, if you want something... Well, Aries Ram. Peachtree Street. That's another good one. Nilla Nuts. That's another good one. Gwen's Fluffer Mint. If you like a mint candy cane style vape. Tiramisu. If you like traditional tiramisu with coffee. Oh god, there's so many. Hi, Ginger Boy. So many. Um, if you like like a fruit and cream combination, either key lime ice cream or strawberry ice cream is very good. Key lime ice cream is rather nice. Key lime. My first go-to is always Aries Ram because that's what I vape all day. Thanks, Aries. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so I, don't, I don't think he's sorry. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's sorry at all. Andy likes pear champagne. John Key pear likes Pegasus nice. poop. See, everyone's everyone's got their own favourite when it comes to Huggy Sex. Oh, you're welcome, Victor. Oh, and Victor, yes, it is. <laughs> Empire wants to try Fluffermint. Yay! Another litre plus just showed up. Another one. <sighs> okay, let's uh, fill this fella up. Dolores, what happened to Knickerbocker Glory? I don't. I don't mind cream, like rich cream and ice cream, because that's 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 what Knickerbocker Glory is. It's a very rich vape. 
The thing is, I'm slowly starting to kind of get put off the richer vapes these days because I'm vaping fruits a lot more. So uh, I haven't touched Knickerbocker Glory for a while actually. Let's close you off. Open up the airflow and there we go folks. There's the OBS Engine Nano. Coiled, wicked and ready to go. And I'm going to pop this on top of the Wismec Predator. Yes. Because it's matchy matchy. Because it's black and it silver. It is kind of matchy yeah. matchy, yeah. There we go. Look at that. That is so fucking cool. The silver on the tank is slightly off of the silver on the mod, but yeah, whatever. That's close enough. Fucking close, close enough. enough. And there we go. That's the OBS Engine Nano sitting on top of the Wismec Predator. Let's have a vape in this and see what it's like. Uh, 0.59 ohms, 65 watts, and we're off! Tetley Man, FF line. Stoken had a good Jaffa Cake recipe, but you can no longer get the blood orange from Flavor West, unless you are a business. So he's Scuba. looking for a good replacement. Scuba, it's down here, it's a bar firer. It's right down, it's the, the whole thing there. It's a grip fire mod. This one. Mod T likes Higgy's Worth It, the Werther's original. That, that one's pretty good too, but it's um, toffee. Ish. That's a rather nice vape out of this. It reminds me a lot of the original engine, actually. Not quite See, as Karsten. Quite as so picky. Yep. Not quite as punchy as the original engine, but it's only a single coil. That's why. Uh, Gwen, do you get heartburn from the jewel? Fifty mil? No, I don't. It does not give me heartburn. Occasionally, it gives me the hiccups, but that's usually like late at night when I'm tired and I need to go to bed. True. <laughs> Scuba guaranteed to burn my balls while driving. <laughs> <laughs> Scuba. Oh, hi, Mr. Blowbear. Anyone have an opinion on the E-Leaf Eye Care? I'm looking at getting one for my sister-in-law, and Ego, she says, hits the throat too much. Does the Eye Care have less of a throat hit than the uh, I've never tried an Eye Care. I've never had Alan. one in. I've... I had a quick shot of one of the neighbours, but he had he had the lower VG one. Uh, not the lower VG. He had the lower neck one. Alan, my sister is still alive and doing pretty well. She got a job, so she's been working a lot. Uh, nothing really new to report. She's doing okay. Scuba says the eye care is great for a starter device. I've never tried the eye care. I think yep. that's the bagpipes you're blowing on. I was right. I did put too much cotton as I was getting a little bit, a little bit dry hitty in that third pool. I put too much cotton in here. Oh, I'm sorry, on. Scuba. We have to have it on, otherwise we miss everything. Except like the, and then people get really frustrated because we're not answering their questions. Gwen has two siblings, John Q. Public. I have an older brother and a younger sister. I am the middle yep. child. Vic, have you ever tried RY4? Comments on it? Best RY4 I've ever tried. Well, there's actually two good RY4s. The one from Best Sig Liquid, but I think Andy's changed the formula in that. And Trip Hammer's T&H Standard 4, which is their version of RY4. Um, I'm not a fan of RY4, but as a tobacco vapor, I don't mind vaping it. It's rather nice now and again. Well, let's see if that's going to work. Scuba, yeah, but I talk a lot during it. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scuba. <laughs> Q Public? What Something tells me you are a youngest. Oh, we poofed again. Did we? Yeah. Oh, we did. It's yeah, you're kind of for up. me. Gwen, I sent you two images on Facebook. Should solve the problem when it comes to Vic or me, whom has a bigger collection. Okay, I will look after the show. John, maybe. Okay, no poof for Jonathan. All right, well, I'm going to um, refresh then. Rasp. Just add Nick are good for concentrates. Yeah, Nick. Kelvin says the big smock fan. <laughs> He's never going to live that down. We'll there we go. Got. I don't know. Uh, we don't have an approved list, Scuba. Holy crap, Aries. <laughs> that is a lot of Aries RAM. Damn. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm seeing... S or No, that's a, something else behind it, so it's five. Five bottles. Damn, dude. 
Okay, if you're gonna get the engine nano, don't overstuck the wick. Don't overstuck, overstuff the wick holes. It's uh, you know a little bit less cotton than I used. You should be fine. This is a good flavour coming from this tank, though. <laughs> Considering it's a single coil micro coil, I've got in this. This is really nice. Very nice flavour. Surprised at that actually. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Great, I can rearrange our windows go. now that I don't have to keep an eye on the cast anymore. And there we go, that was coily time. Yay! Yes, Erwin, it's the uh, OBS Engine Nano, the single coil variant of the original engine tank. Very nice tank, good flavour. This would be really good with just a single, maybe a fuse clapton, one of Aries fuse clapton coils in here. Ooh, I might try that after the show. Mm. <laughs> Oops, I just accidentally closed Chrome. Why didn't I minimize it? It's not what I meant to do. There we go. And this is for me to get used to. What? Was the C word is a nuclear word in America. Um, right. And you guys use it a lot over there. It's For you guys, it's like asshole or dick yeah, it is. or jerk. Um, Although, to be honest, I don't usually use the C word that much up here. If, yeah, I don't. No, that's true, you don't. I don't. Aries, don't tell Grannies that you're offering pictures of her jugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's put the troll back on here. Have a vape in Aries Ram. Go to community settings under community. Okay, Scuba, I probably can't do that because I don't actually have access to Vic's channel. I'm just a mod. Although I do have access to Nightbot. Uh, what's Scuba saying? Um, apparently there's something called an approved list where you can let people oh, talk a lot list. even if slow mode is on. That's true. Hold on. Dum da dum da dum dum da dum Approved users and hidden users. Okay. I don't really know what that does. I'm I guessing it's just it lets them talk a lot. Community, even if some mode is on. Community settings Approved. Must be a hell of a big dripper. To approve users, use the flag menu on the comments page. What? You need to comment on a video, Scuba, so I can flag you on it. Victor, get the pick off the wall. What pick? Which pick? There's three of them. <laughs> I am confused. Sloan, check all the boxes. Silence and chat. Fuck it close enough. <laughs> oh, why do you want your picture off the wall, Aries? Oh. Oh. Why does he want. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, Dundee Pin, I put the menu back. Because. It was blind. My wall was blinding Osman. That's why I have it there. Is sort of to cut the glare. All right. Show the new guy. Hold on. So don't take it off. Well, I mean, take it off, but put it back. Yeah. I put it back, Kalius. Matt, we know each other through the internet. Gwen, it's the dungeon menu. Choose your punishments. Oh. Would you so prefer cat of nine tails? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's this glare. It's so shiny, this. yeah. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. He says, that's what I'm vaping Aries Ram on. There's a coil like that. Oh, 
Staple Stagger Fuse Clapton. And that's the very same coils that I have got sitting in this Aries Thank Staple you, Stagger Fuse Clapton. <laughs> Dadalus made me laugh while I was vaping and now I'm choking a little bit. <laughs> no, Lance. I'll get Bubba to do it. <laughs> It, yeah, S. Irwin, dude, it, Aries makes some killer looking coils. Oh yeah, he does. That's true, Sloane, there are Jaffa Cakes in the dungeon. See? Jaffa Cakes in the dungeon with lots and lots of tea. Lovely. I wonder if I'm ever going to have the patience to learn to making some advanced coils. I don't know. I know. Maybe. Only yeah. you can really know that. Commented on the peerless video. Hold on, scuba. Uh, refresh. There you go. Testing one, two, three, scuba. Really? You couldn't put anything like great review, Vic? No, testing one, two, three. <sighs> Let's look at Nightbot too, because I feel like there might be something in Nightbot. Log in. Always approve comments from this user. Ding! Well, that's just on the videos though, isn't it? No, it's, it should be in chat as well. Oh, okay. So if I head into community settings... You're on the approve list now, Scuba. Kalius, it's not Photoshop and you know it. DJ, DJ, I don't have an alien to actually compare it against the Predator, but the actual Predator, I'm enjoying this. It's a nice heavy mod. Nice heavy mod. How many Aries coils can you get for $40? Quite a few, Jonathan. Yeah, it's something like, I'm trying to remember how much it is for a set on Higgy's site now. Well, thank you, Kevin. I'm glad you like them. Um, you can get them at Higgy Sigs, Aries Coils, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Scuba, you might need you to leave no, chat now. You might need to leave chat and pop back in. So you're wiped out of the active list and then you're brought back into the active list. I okay, bye, Einar. See you on Sunday. Catch you later, Einar. Yeah, it is um, 12.59 my time, so we should probably wrap it up. Ooh, wow, it was 12.59. Anyway, <laughs> that is it from me and Gwen. Sorry for the annoying dropouts, but you can thank bloody Virgin Media for that because they still haven't fixed the internet connection. As always, the Late Late UK Vape Show is on every Thursday at 7 o'clock UK, UK time and every Sunday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is going to be fun when the clocks go forward because then everyone's brain's going to be messed up for the next week or so until the UK puts their clocks forward. Uh, that is it from me and Gwen. Still got a timer. Oh, oh dear, Scuba. We'll have a look at it later on, Scuba. That is it from me and Gwen. Say bye, Gwen. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And yeah, have a good one.